You guys just want to jump in here real quick. Because <sighs> I'm going through it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was sitting here thinking like, man, you know, just this lot. A lot of people are struggling right now, trying to get everything back on track, going through things in life, getting messed up with hospital bills <laughs> and troubles with it. just every direction in every corner. And things are so uncertain with life. You know, there's bills to pay, kids to take care of, um, anxiety level, mental health is just going crazy, rampant all over the place. But we have to remember that there is a God that's bigger than our problems and that we need to stop complaining about our problems and speak to our situations because we realize that there is a God that is that can take care of all your situations. He can take care of all your problems. And though it may not seem like there's a light at the end of the tunnel, just know that there is a, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Jesus said he had come so you can have peace. To take heart, you know, he has overcome the world. There's going to be troubles. There's going to be trials and tribulations. And there's going to be trouble in this world. But take heart, he has already overcome the world. So we have to believe in the promises of the Lord. And we had to put our faith and our trust in him. And then we had to be able to, to speak it and believe it and let our faith do faith do the walking and the talking. We must train our thoughts and our minds to speak life and to keep every negative thought into captivity. I myself have to do this. You have to keep every negative thought into captivity and just speak life over our situations. Not let that overtake us. Remember that those who have hope in the Lord, we put our hope in the Lord and he will renew our strength. He will give us wings that soar like eagles and we will run and not grow weary. We will walk and never faint because our Lord is on our side. He fights for us. He is the one that gives us what we need and the battle is already run, won. So it doesn't matter what your situation is today. Tomorrow is a brand new day. You know, we may mourn. Morning may come by the night, but joy comes in the morning. And we must rejoice and glad and be glad in everything on which we do. We need to remember, remember Hebrews 11.1. 1. It says, faith is a substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. This is one of my favorite voices, uh, verses in the Bible. Because it's to remind me, you know, my faith is where it needs to be. Then I'm going to rejoice even though the situation does not look promising. I'm going to rejoice if I lose everything that I ever have. I'm still going to rejoice. I'm still going to serve him. I am a living sacrifice to him. My obedience is greater than sacrifice. I am obedient to him. And have to learning and learning to love him and to know him and to know of his promises is everything, you guys. So if you follow if you follow the Lord and you follow his commandments, you know, love God with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength. Number two, love your neighbor as yourself. I know some people may not like themselves, and some people may not even love themselves. But that's why you guys learn God so you can know these things. <laughs> so you can learn to love yourself. You can learn how to love others. All right, you guys. Love God. Love people. And as my church says, share hope. So until next time, see ya.